Hello everybody, this is Metro Gamer 12 Voice, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid, episode number one. Uh, this is actually the second one I'm doing. The first one is an older channel of mine. I'll link to a video that pretty much describes everything, episode number zero. And that'll go over all the details of everything. Right now, I just love the poking around the area here. Black background, abandoned workstation, and... Super Metroid. I love that so much. And the Metroid it goes to the music. That's just freaking amazing. Anyway. Uh, let's just go with slot A, because why not? You can choose either Japanese or English text here. Uh, obviously, we'll be wanting English because I know speaky Japanese. Controller setting. Uh, this is pretty much just your controls and setup. You can reset to default. I actually want mine on default for a specific reason later on in the game. Uh, special setting mode. You have the icon cancel, which is pretty much whenever you're selecting weapons, whether it automatically uh, cancels out the selections you have or whether it's manual. I like to leave mine on manual as just about everyone else I know. And Moonwalk, uh, essentially say you're shooting to the right, if you keep shoot, hitting the shoot button and then you uh, hold left to walk left, you'll be walking slowly backward left while still shooting right. And I guess that's kind of cool, but it's just no, not very good for speed purposes, I'll say that. Anyway, moving on. Because you're going to begin this masterpiece of a game. Oh my gosh. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. You just witnessed voice acting in a Super Nintendo game. That just happened. I'm going to give a sort of monologue of the events that have already happened here. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebes. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack a galactic civilization. And that's you owning a brain from the first Metroid. Your head explodes strong bad style. Bonus points for whoever gets that one. Anyway. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. More ellipses. Look up here. Eggs hatching. Metro pops out. Smart thing to do. Probably to kill it. Because that's kind of what you were supposed to do. You know kill, you know get paid. Bounty hunter. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. UPS of the future. It delivers live alien beings now. Pretty cool stuff. Ah. Uh, the scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the metro might be harnessed for the good of civilization. It's good to have them memorized. Guy at the bottom, the glasses, totally looks like Al Borland off of Home Improvement. Or Richard, Richard Karn is his name. Whatever. I'll always remember that. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Anyone who loves this game can quote the next line without even going to it. Sarah's station was under attack. Two exclamation points. Yeah. Spaceship! Fly past the potato-faced asteroid rock things. It looks like a potato that has a face on it. That's explanation enough for me. Descend down the elevator? We now have control. Uh, a couple quick notes. We have our energy over at the top left there, and the mini map over at the top right. It kind of automatically fills itself in as you move around. One place to go right now is down. These things are seriously blue rooms. Like mega serious blue. Just saying. Uh, right now, a couple quick notes of control. Uh, you can hold uh, R to look up, like that, or uh, L to look down. Of course, D-pad moving all that kind of good stuff. X would be the shoot button you use to kill whatever it did that. Yeah, 
That's a dead person. And that's a broken tube. And that's two more dead people. That kinda sucks. Moving on. Because whatever done busted out of the tube ain't good. And given I just delivered a Mitchwood here, that's probably a problem. Okay, well. Pick it up, bring it somewhere else. I don't remember the button to pick the thing up anyway. Select. I guess. That's a freaking dragon! I'm gonna shoot that. Now. Don't kill me. That would be fireballs. Don't, don't, don't do that, essentially. He doesn't normally do this. Let's get him to do a more fun attack. Like ramming against the wall. Flying out. Uh, let's see here. He also can do a tail whip. Noted. Yeah, it's just going in this. This battle, you don't actually have to hurt him much. You just kind of get your health down to there and run like you're about to die. Because guess what? You are probably about to die. The emergency self-destruct sequence. That's familiar. Run. The run button is B, so that is very good to be holding down right now. At least you just went from blue to red. That's not good. Running a uh, proper burial can't happen. Run right away, save myself. Sorry. What a morbid. What a well. Um, smoke here. It can knock you around a little bit, but it can't actually hurt you. As you can see, I just got hit, but my energy's still the same. So that's something. Run. Here and. If you want to go back in for whatever reason. Screw you! If you want to die, just kind of hang out here while the self-destruct goes down. If not, climb up the tilting hull shaft thing and get onto this path here. Congratulations. You get to leave. That's the exact sound effect of all explosions. Anyway, Planet Jerish. That's where that giant Ridley dragon thing just went. Giant dragon whose name is Ridley. Eh, I'll get it right sometime. I actually, it's possible to beat him, by the way. You just gotta shoot him 100 times without, you know, getting hurt too much. So that's something. Descend on the planet. Mini map doing its stuff. Thunderclouds, storm going on, barren wasteland. Sugar and rainbows, man. Sugar and rainbows. Uh, just so you know, if you want, you can just sit on top of there, hit down, go down into your ship. Uh, that will refill all your energy and later on your items and let's just save. Which is kind of nice. Because saving a game is very important. Moving on. Uh, good RPG start by going to the right, so let's see what happens. Uh, okay, and nothing happened. But, eh. You have half a brain, probably. So, this probably looks like you can get through it, but nothing you have right now can do that. Can't go up here unless you do wall jump, which I will go over the details to later. <sighs> Can't do anything over there right now. Might as well go over here. More rocks, more cavernous style, and a door that is blue. Rubbing her face on this little much, so shoot it. Make it explode. Why not? Bunch of bugs. Jeez. Uh, can I crouch? No, I cannot crouch down and get in there. Don't want to die. But can't get through here either, so... Maybe? Yes! Shaftness. Shaft! Can't crawl there, that sucks. Ooh, I can open you. Too many small spaces. Seriously, too many small spaces. Uh, oh, red door. Hmm. Oh, you're my last option. Let's see. Sure, get fog up in my visor. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, more bugs everywhere, but whatever. Comes with the job. If you hung the right wall here, you can just kind of drop the hallway. That's nice. 
Except for that one platform. Go on through this door. Something probably looks familiar here. This is Mother Brain's old cage and Zebedites. Hmm? And also, this door is gray. You cannot leave. Fantastic. Pushing forward is the only thing I can do here. An elevator. Just kind of stand on top of like you did the ship and press down. And look how thin this thing is. You get fat, guess what? You don't move around the planet. You stay where you are and lose weight. Anyway. Eh, I failed last time, so let's start trying the left. Ooh, shiny thing. I'm gonna touch it. I apparently just busted out the morphing ball. And got busted, period, by the security camera. Okay, leaving now. Uh, to activate the morphing ball, just tap down twice, and bam, you're there. Uh, you can't do it in midair too, so that's something. And the door is locked in here, so... Uh, that was a little tiny glitch where if you immediately as you're coming in the door, uh, hit shoot, then it will actually go through all the blocks. And uh, yeah. That is red, however. But if these can be destroyed, and there's something like it under the... Yes? Yes, it works. Sweet. More small spaces. What a start to come here first. And then get the ball. You are a Chozo statue. You are awesome. Mm. Yeah, I could just kind of shoot those things to open them up. What does that look like to you? Did you say missile? Because it's a freaking missile. You have explosives. And thanks for the gift and ditching you now. Let's get out of here. A uh, real quick trick that you can do right here is as you're jumping up, keep holding your jump button and then tap down twice in the air. That'll prevent you from having to uh, do that. Kind of gives you a little leeway there. And if regular shots didn't open these, maybe. Press select to select your items there. Takes five of them to open the uh, red pink doors, whatever. Let's try to get something here. Nope, did not get it. Missiles. More security footage of me stealing all their crap. I think they just looked kind of laying around, so their fault. Play again. Yeah, what I was trying to attempt just now, by the way, was a mock ball, which. Uh. We'll come more important in a later episode. I'll link to a description of how to do it then. Right now, I'm running along here. And you can't really do much else here, so... Upness. So far, we have taken three of their items, two packs of missiles, and a morphing ball. And we've been caught on tape twice. And now this room is a little different from before. It's sort of activated, I guess you could say. Probably not good for us. We'll see what happens. That happened. Okay, and they're shooting at me, and... Whatever. Yeah, die. Yep, takes one hit. Also, that door is gray, so... Good luck on getting out of here. At least try not to get choppy these guys, or... You lose 15 energy. What I just picked up there is a uh, health refill and little, almost Lady Liberty looking things were uh, missile packs. You notice that gray door is flashing after I killed everything in the room. That's how you get past gray doors. You do a special event. These guys will launch themselves at you if you don't take care of them. So, might want to do that. Anyway, uh, this is about the end of this episode. As we continue forward, we need to not get hit by, I don't know, maybe this guy? Or any other security drone type dude, so, um, yeah. Go over that later. End it with a bang. Uh, I would lend this with a bang. Explosion! Alright. See you guys later, hope you tune in for the second episode, and the rest of the LP for that fact.